Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome along to the old stream farm. And uh, I've got a few things I'd like to do today. One of which is uh, I'd like to get the Mahindra. That's what I'd like to do. I forgot what it was called there. Yeah, I'd like to get the Mahindra out. I just start it up. Now you might hear some unusual noises. It's because I've just hooked up the SATEC side panel and wheel and I haven't got the set quite right so my headphone controller does hit the wheel occasionally, but hopefully that won't happen too often. I wonder. How is this going to be at towing this? So I'm trying to remember the button. That's not it. That's it. Yeah, that's um, that's not going to do too well right there. So, not the Mahindra then. Which is a shame. That was the one I was going to use. So what we'll do is, we'll use the, the dudes. I remember where the trailer is, so here. We're going to need the trailer, we're going to need to go up to the shop. We're also going to take the truck with us, because I'm going to get rid of the truck. It's a good mod and all that, it's just not quite enjoying it as much as it should. I wonder if I can save myself a bit of money. I'm still using the mouse and keyboard for camera movement and walking because it's a, it's a little bit weird to use a steering wheel to walk. And I haven't quite figured out all the buttons as well, so... But I'm sure I will. I'm sure I'll get used to it. Yeah, okay, so... Let's... Try and bring this up to this. Go too far off this one. thing only just fits on here. Oh, uh, camera collisions. How we love them. I have, however, already figured out the beacons. I figured that one out pretty quick. So it might seem somewhat suicidal, but I'm going to try and take this this way. It's struggling quite bad. This may not go well. I haven't got my dead zones or anything like that set up quite right just yet, but I've got it so it's pretty much usable. So, it's definitely a million times better than using a mouse and keyboard. I'm to try and go at this with a bit of uh, the speed about this. Hopefully the truck doesn't come off on this bump. or the random bumps that we get on this road. But there is a good reason why I'm taking the truck on a trailer and not just driving it up. There's um, a piece of equipment I'd like to purchase. I think I mentioned before what it is. But uh, I'm not exactly sure which one it is I'm getting. We've got £22,684 at the moment. We're obviously going to have to replace the truck as a trailer unit. Because it's our trailer. But we will make do. Getting it off should be easier than putting it on. I 
I still think the, the way the camera works with this is very weird. It's one of the things that I don't quite like about it. The camera's not centered on the machine. But we should get a reasonable amount of money for that. We paid 60000 for the truck and then there's the cost of the tub as well. well that's not bad. We're at 82,000. So I'm going to purchase a new piece of equipment and I'll be back in just a second. Okay, this is what I settled on. We've got the uh, New Holland C232, the bucket, the pallet fork, and the bail spike for it. All nicely loaded up on this trailer. Wouldn't have been able to fit much more on here. Make sure that it's going up. It is indeed. Let's make our way back down to the farm. We just don't need the trailer, but we have just shy of 30,000 pounds. And we are going to need a, a higher reach bale handler at some point. Since I don't think that our skid steer is going to be able to feed the cows, for example. At least not without some uh, trickery involved. This is just coming back up to the yard now. Hopefully we still have the skid steer loader on the trailer. I've not really been keeping an eye on it. It's quite a bumpy way into the farm that one. Uh, I did change what I said in the last episode. I said I wasn't going to do anything with the other silage clamp, I, I did, I got it fermented, I got it started fermenting. But it's also worth noting that it is actually fermented already, it fermented in about three hours of in-game time. Okay. Let's pack this off of here. As you can see, the sheep are quite filthy. That, that is a huge pile of grass they have there, actually. This is the perfect reason, a perfect excuse to check out this Satek side panel. It's pretty decent actually. And if I can get it to work the way I expect it to, which is easier said than done, I am certainly not used to it, but it does seem like a massive improvement over the uh, the old way of doing it, with the mouse and keyboard. You might hear the odd click here and there, that is just the side panel. I've not picked its place yet, so it is very close to me. And it's, uh, it can be quite loud. I was not set on my desk right either, so it, it does move around a little. That is not what we wanted to do. Now, it's a pallet fork on here, which this seems like a good way of checking how uh, maneuverable the skid steer is. Okay, I want that down and from straight. That should be about right. That was my fault. Visibility is still an issue, but maneuverability doesn't seem to be.
That reminds me actually, I still need a water trailer. Uh, we're going to do with the wool what we did with the eggs before and we're just going to basically take them out of the trigger and deal with them when we have I'd like um, quite a substantial pile this time round. I'd like to take a double stack trailer if possible. I mean, well, I say double stack, but I mean it's double stack with enough room to take the skid steer with us. So, eight. This is a lot easier than trying to get in here with the tractor. So if you are using the fence to do the wool, I recommend going and getting yourself a skid steer. And, well, it's going to take side panel if you can afford it. Maybe have better luck figuring out the buttons than me. happened actually, it's because the forks actually it's not actually touching anything, it shouldn't be on there. Push that all the way back, there should be a lump there. Yeah. No point in taking up unnecessary room. And it also gives us something to push against the wind where we the month for that trailer. <laughs> At some point I am going to have to go and get more grass bills because I don't think we have very many left. Oh, push the button. The, 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 the joystick that controls the boom movement also controls the camera, but there is like a toggle button on the top. Probably a way to make that a bit better. Keep reversing instead of going forward. The back of this just doesn't quite sit low enough. Did it with mouse or with the uh, side panel. We'll drop off his pallet forks, pick up the bale spike off the trailer, and uh, I'm going to feed the sheep because uh, they have no water now. So that's a priority. And they could be done with a bale. But they have no water, that's going to cause problems. We need a trailer and a water browser, but I think the water browser is more important. And get a trailer later on. And we'll just go and get ourselves a grass, but this is not the quickest machine in the world, but it will do for a little bit some pieces of the yard work like this. This is literally as quick as it goes. I think the, uh, the one with tires instead, I think is faster. I think I have two there. No, I only have one. And it also bothers me that this doesn't have beacons. This should really have beacons. In my opinion. Right, so we'll give this to the sheep. I'll quickly nip up and get some kind of water trailer, preferably one that can take milk as well. And, uh, That'll be that part of the We've been picked up straight from the bottom, but I haven't. Right. 
Let's just come park this up in its new home. I think the greenhouse is the that you need from in there. And more than likely do. But why are they in this actually? It may actually do it for feeding the cows. Because that, that's quite high. Right, we'll turn this off here and I'll go and uh, find a water trailer. I'll be back in just a second. Okay guys, this is a water trailer I got. It's a standard in-game one, it's the only one I don't I don't have any mods that does water and milk. Uh, I've got it on the Mahindra. I went and picked it up with this just for speed of it. And we just need to uh Force the Mahindra to track a full water trailer over to the cows. I've already given the sheep water just to make sure that it was actually going to work. And it did. So I'll show you that in just a second. The Mahindra does not have the, the weight behind it for this. Right, the cows weren't completely out, but while it's doing that, I'll show you. They now have all the water. They're fairly clean and they've got a good bit of grass and hay. Cows are apparently uh, filthy. They have straw, they have water, and they have a bit of grass. So, as you can see, I've uh, basically made a ramp with the silage. I'm just going to put the Mahindra somewhere out of the way just now. And we'll jump into this. Uh, he's not using the bill spike for now. I'm gonna give the cows a bit more grass. I'm not gonna give them straw. But I'm gonna give them grass, and I'm gonna try and clean them. Do need more grass and hay bales. Hay bales specifically, but we need grass bales as well. So we'll give them this, and uh, I think this is a perfect opportunity for the thumbnail for today. Down a little. There we go. You all already know that, but that's the thumbnail for today. Usually I do it off camera, but there's a little behind the scenes look. Yeah, the, the curves are quite good. Uh, this one's a good trigger, I think. Yes, it is. It's a shame that this doesn't have a trailer hitch on it. That would make uh, a little bit easier. This shed has become the shed for the skid steer though. Alright, chickens everywhere. Get all of this cleaned up. I think that this is what's causing the dirt and not the manure. That thing has been on since the last time I used it. If it nothing connected to it, so it should be good. This actually cannot be performed here. Yeah, this thing's going to be good enough reach to. Uh, Reach up to that 
Wolf and Wagon. This in here, there we go. That's the chickens looked after. That's all it takes. Chickens aren't really going to see it. To be completely honest. So I'm quite happy with that purchase. That's that's turned out to be better than I thought it'd be. Alright. For TMR. We need hay, silage, and straw. Yeah, their productivity's gone up, so there's 2,222 litres of milk, which is not bad. Um, I suppose I could, I could give them silage. Don't know how much of it they'll take, though. But we do have two silage pits, that's the wrong way, that's a post, that's a pallet apparently. Okay, I've just given the cows an entire bucket of silage and it's, it's done nothing, we need a trailer. So I'm going to have a look at getting one of them just now, we only have £10,000 so it's not going to be a particularly good trailer, I'm not sure if we should wait or what we should do with that, but I'm, I need a trailer for now so I will see what I can get. Okay, yeah, I did get a trailer, it really isn't a particularly great one, but it's something we could afford, so it's this one here. It's just 15,000 litre capacity. I've been working on filling it. I'm not going to make you watch all of that. Because it's uh, just back and forth. But I thought I'd show off the trailer. And I'll come back once it's full up. Okay, that's it full. I'm just going to leave this here for just now. I've got through quite a bit of this pit actually. A lot more than I was expecting to. We've um, dug like a dip here. There's a high point, a high point and then a dip in the middle. And uh, it did come out to around here before. You can still see some remnants of where it was. But this little Mahindra. This, this, thing's, uh, this thing's a little beast. This is a, a 40,000 litre trailer, even though the shop said 50,000 litre. And somehow it's managing to actually tow it. It's tipping it on the wrong side, but whatever works. how this will do. It's not even going to fill it. Hey, it puts it in the green though. What I'd like to do is turn that machine off because it's actually kind of irritating. Now why is it still on? Is it because there was straw in it? Right, it's definitely off. Not turn it back on again. But I'm going to leave it here for today, guys. Since people are blowing a horn outside anyway. I'm going to leave it here for today, guys. Hopefully, you have enjoyed it. If you have, then don't forget to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, you can hit that subscribe button. And of course, you can hit the bell icon as well to be notified whenever I post new content. And I will be back with the next video tomorrow. Thank you all very kindly for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.